Disclaimer, this video is being made to clear my name of being a scammer. This video is not meant to make fun of a disabled person or persons or people that don't have functioning brains. I have the right to defend myself with the truth. Miss Mona Simone, the so-called brain, came out on her platform and made over 30 videos about me. Now, that's very, very disturbing. Please enjoy the show. Dear Dollar Sign Mona Simone on the Cash App, you know you done fucked up, right? The type of person that I am, I come with receipts all the time. If you don't have any evidence, then you can't believe it. As far as people saying, just wait till you see the receipts, I don't believe it. Show us the receipts now. You claim you got all these receipts, Drop them. Drop them now. Oh my goodness. Why are y'all always creeping up on me like this? What's up, friends, foes, and subbies? I am tired. I have an event to go to. And I'm about to be late. Let's try to make this quick. Anyways. I have been telling people to just leave me alone. Stop fucking with me. Stop, stop, stop. But nobody wants to listen. You know what they say about poking a bear. Recently, somebody made several videos, seven to be exact. It just was clear that this was about me. But I didn't say anything. I let it slide. I let it slide. The subliminals. I know a couple of people tried to tell me to be careful. And I'm like, nah, it ain't like that, you know? It ain't like that. But they was like, nah, I'm on something right about that. Something is not right about that. And I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I did not see it. God damn it. Me, the brain, I didn't see it. You know why? Because you're such an empath and you care so much that you get blinded by people that don't really mean you well. Like, what is it about that situation that made me so empathetic and sympathetic towards it? I don't know. The, the, you the helpless kinda, girl. Yeah. You know. I was trying to save a hope. That's not hope. <laughs> that's it, babe. <laughs> that's your response. You I just have to say, well, that's same whole complex. I, I, I fall for the tears. You no, do. I, I do fall for you the do. tears. Oh my gosh, I do it every time. Fucking pretty girl with a smile. Yep, that's me. <laughs> I think that whole thing is a scam. I don't think those are real emotions because that shows you the sociopathic behavior because that's not. The person that I knew. She's a sociopath. Mm -hmm. None of these emotions are real. Wow. None of them are real. She's just playing the game. <laughs> Got wow. him. Several subliminals later. I didn't want to have to record this video. I didn't. The first reason being that I'm just, if you can't tell from my eyes, I'm kind of word i'm a bit heartbroken over the situation i think i didn't want to talk about this publicly i wanted to speak to the person that's involved privately but it's apparent that they're a coward and there's some major things going on because of this person that i feel like should be addressed this video is largely for content creators other content creators involved um, as well as the person. Um, so pardon me if I don't say names. I believe you can still get a message from it, even if names are not said. And those who need to know will understand and know exactly what and who I'm talking about. Message from Mona Simone. Your rep is not fucked up, babes. I never said your name for that reason. I've also hid in the video. A lot of folks have asked me who it was about, and I didn't tell them. Rest assured. Rest assured my ass. To cut this short, 
she basically goes on talking about how she met me and I was so sweet and she fell for my sweetness and I ended up being a scammer and a liar and a backstabber. All this crap. She talked so freaking much that I fell asleep while watching this that I had to cut everything out. As an empath, I felt like I felt her story. You know what I'm saying? Like I felt like I understood and I knew her. A trusted advisor. You mean a dumbass? That they didn't buy it. That the whole, there was something off about this person. And I was like, no, she's sweet. She's so kind and loving. She's an empath like myself. I started to get receipts. I started to get screenshot messages of conversations with several different content creators. That's not what your text say. Several content creators, Mona. Really? I have so many texts to go through. It's kind of annoying, but I'll read out the important ones. And the other is just basically the same thing. You think I betrayed you and you can't trust me. That was Mona's response to me after I asked her to provide me proof with these several so-called content creators. But I started getting screenshot messages back. It was largely just her saying, oh, I don't know if I can trust Mona. Do you trust Mona? This and that. I never and, and asked first, nobody like, if they okay, trust Mona. Well, she doesn't really know me. So she's entitled to question, right? I'm trying to think about this rationally, critically, and not, you know, jump to an inward moment. And the, and the receipts kept coming. And the screenshots kept coming. And then a few days ago, I got the holy grail of screenshots. That was like a dagger in, in my chest. That hurt. That, that really hurt. Fuck the theatrics, Mona. You know damn well I wasn't talking shit about you. I messaged someone who I thought I could trust. Someone I thought was a friend. And I told her that I felt that Marilyn was backstabbing me. And I said, the worst one I feel that turned on me is Mona. I said, don't say anything because I'm not sure just yet. You guys could feel free to pause and read this message. I did not talk shit about Mona. The only thing I said was she goes live every hour, which is true. (laughs) I'm actually glad that this happened because if Mona never received these screenshots of me saying that I didn't know if I could trust her and that I felt like she was ignoring me, then this would have never happened and I'd still be in that bitch's web. (laughs) So guys, understand this. The rest of this video is Mona just making shit up. She's calling me a scammer, all types of lies. And I will prove to you that this bitch is the true sociopath. She continues to lie and say that I backstabbed so many other YouTubers, played people against each other, trying to ruin people, etc, etc. Had to cut all this bullshit out for real. I believe this is a tactic to get people to turn against me and go towards her. She's such an idiot because she doesn't realize that I have all this proof that she's so fake. I was accused of being very manipulative, very intentful, very sociopathic. You are a whole liar. You're a whole fake and a fraud. You disgust me. You are a fucked up individual. You got a lot of people fooled. You are evil little bitch. You is. You don't have a heart. You are phony. You are fake. You have mental issues. And you need help. You are a special kind of evil. You are a pollution to the YouTube community. I believe you are a sociopath. Everybody want to point the finger at everybody else. Everybody want to say everybody else is a problem. But you really a problem. You're the common denominator, though. After the seventh video, me and Mona go back and forth via text so that I can clear my name. I proved my point last night, and this person seemed to be not really apologetic, but, like, sorry. And I thought to myself, not even an apology after smearing my name. And trust me, before I came to you guys to discuss it, 
I tried to reach out to them so that we can have the discussion. And from what I, I'm told is that even though it was a text, you know, I'm told that the word is Mona keeps calling me and I'm not going to let, I'm not going to answer because I want her to feel what she did to me. Me, the reason why I ignored you is because you text me at three in the morning while you were live. And I felt that that was shady of you to ignore me for three days. But on the third night, you decide to text me at three in the morning while you're live. That seems very shady of you. So yes, I ignored you. And because I ignored you, you decide to make seven lives about me. And I couldn't do it that way. In desperation, I did it another way. I made a video because I know that people respond to this public and this social media stuff. And I got my response. And maybe I asked for my response a bit too soon. But what I got back to that response was a bunch of childish, you know, you know, y'all saw it. You know, and I, and I truly wasn't expecting that. And then I even felt bad because I'm like, this girlfriend to mess up her whole brand being in her lower self right now. Just acting a fool because she, she in her feelings right now. Well, hold on, let me wet my throat. George is using Daddy Pig as a servant. Wow, George has got great balance. Wow. You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. Dollar Cash Cat Bowl some more. Dollar Ash Cat Bowl some more, y'all. Dollar Ash Cat Bowl some more. Dollar Ash Cat Ash. Dollar Cash Cat Bowl some more, y'all. I worth a dollar, a pity. Ain't I'm famous too. Dollar Ash Cat Bowl some more, y'all. Dollar Ash Cat Bowl some more, y'all. Mommy, mommy. What's Ash Cat? So, Mona, you got receipts? Where they at, though? If I were to put out these receipts, and I'm not, because they involve a lot of different content creators, and it says a lot of mean shit, and it's telling a lot of people this. So I'm not, I'm not going to put them out because of them. But if it was just for you, I will put your little ass on blast so fast, you're worse than Susie. Dare I say, you're worth, because at least Susie doesn't pretend to be good. More lies, defamation, and slander. Yet you have the nerve to want to sue Olivia the Oracle for you defaming and slandering her by lying and saying that she said that you were crippled when she clearly said that you were simple. Everybody that watches Olivia knows that she says simple. That's her word. Fuck you, Mona. You lying ass motherfucking bitch. While I was defending her, she was throwing shots at me on her own life. I missed it. She was making fun of the fact that, that I offered the cash app. Dollar sign Mona Simone on the cash app. And uh, shout out to Mona Simone for uh, getting Cardi B on the live. But I would have asked her some other questions a little deeper. But maybe they had an agreement not to talk about certain Yeah, things. you don't know what they spoke about before. Yeah. They... He is here? Okay, well, Mona is here. I love you. Yes, I love Mona. Yeah, Deb, Deb loves Mona too. My channel. Yes, Mona is here. I think I don't see I don't Mona. See her. I didn't block her. Mona is foin. <laughs> you better say, let her know that. Mona is foin. <laughs> yes, she is. The lies you tell, Mona. I never talk shit about you. Never disrespected you. Ever. Not on a live. Not behind your back. The only time I started questioning you was after this video. When you started acting funny. You. Behind my back, sullying my name, my reputation, my character as a person, the woman who put her neck on the line for you. And I have more than enough receipts to bring you all the way down. But for some reason, my heart won't let me put it out. What heart? Hearing you say all the things that you said about me, 
And all the things you said about these other good people, they really are good content, just trying to do their job. Throwing salt in the game. I'm wondering why content creators looking at me sideways, and it's because of your ass. They gonna look at you sideways now, bitch. This bitch, don't you ever text me back. You's the one that texts me. <laughs> don't bother. She ain't got the balls to anyway. Because you had probably the, the realest bitch down for you. The most honest, probably the one of the most powerful bitches on YouTube, and you don't even know it. I'm authentic. I'm honest. I'm truthful. I stand in my shit. I don't lie. I don't lie because I'm not afraid of shit. The fuck I gotta lie for? Who the fuck gonna thump me? To the content creators, I'm not so messy to just forge you guys the screenshots because I probably should do that. I really probably should. But to every content creator, because it's about eight of y'all involved, if y'all feel like something funny and you don't understand why things falling apart, pay attention to the messenger. The same dog that'll bring a bone will take a bone. They collect information and they pass it around. Hmm. Listen, I warned the bitch. I told her, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Oh, oh. She did not want to leave me alone. Mm -mm. Listen, I'm trying to hurry up now. But anyway, I warned this lady. The only way I will do this is if I'm pushed. Don't test me. I beg you. I beg you. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm trying my best. Please don't push me. That's all I ask. All right? <laughs> don't push me. You know what I'm capable of, and I come with the truth. That's it. Please don't push me. That's all I ask. And all you had to do was just say sorry. That's all you had to say was sorry. I would have never came on live. And I did a TKO, and I don't want to do it again. That's the thing. I was, I was trying so hard not to do this because this person I admired, and I thought that the person respected me enough to come to me and say whatever that person felt. But no, they chose to go to YouTube. Yo, free my nigga Michelle, yo. Free my nigga Michelle. You can't possibly be an empath right before you drug me through the mud about everything. You even drug my wife into it. My wife. And you gave no legitimate reason for doing any of this. Oh, you want a reason, ho? I'll give you a few. Uh, I was trying to save a hoe. That's my hoe. <laughs> save a hoe. That save a hoe complex. I, 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 I fall for the tears. That bitch deserved what she got. Dollar sign Mona Simone on the cash app. Dollar sign Mona Simone on the cash app. Mm. So you think throwing empty threats is going to do you any good? You think I didn't hear? You think? It's YouTubers like me that get murdered, right? The ones that try to be internet gangsters? If anything happens to me. Whatever. I'm, I'm running late, so. Disability versus inability. I was knocked out. I went to bed early, like, I want to say seven. Do y'all remember what time it was? Maybe she's sleeping tonight. I'm surprised. She is not sleep. She watching me? She watching me right now. She wants to go. Skits in Maryland, what time it was when I left and I was like, I'm going to go to the store with Michelle. Do y'all get paid? No, no, no. I never did go in the early morning. Remember, I went last night. Oh. Hey, Tyrone. Hey, Sam. I am. Around seven or eight last night. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I fell asleep in a car. All I remember is she, she got me something to eat, and for some reason I wanted a milkshake. Before you guys go live, get your lies straight. Mona, you said you weren't watching my live when I addressed you. You were sleeping at 7 p.m., but yet you and your recent back surgery having ass goes out to the store with your wife at 7 p.m., but then when your Marilyn says that you said you went out at 10, you're like, oh, I fell asleep in the car. Well, bitch, if you fell asleep in the car, you'd have to get up, right? So therefore, you did see my live. Don't try to play it off, bitch. She got mad because I didn't return a phone call. Is that what it is? Yes. Basically. Yes. Okay. You didn't return a phone call. Okay. So that, never mind that I'm a chronic uh, illness sufferer, that I'm in and out the hospital. Really, bitch? Really? That, hang on, guys. I got to turn off this heat. I'll be right back. Y'all are still live. Talk to the live. I got to make it make my way to turn off the heat. I don't understand, like, how somebody is still here. She said, oh, I'm about to help people. I want to give back to the homeless people. Like, if somebody needs something. Sorry if I walk a lot. But in the same breath, you accuse of somebody of scamming folks, but you don't show any receipts. Exactly. how they scam you. Or you don't even know what they're doing with the money. You don't know if it's going back to the channel. You don't know if it's going to, like, medical reasons. You don't know. So it's like you can't sit up here and say that somebody isn't in need because of how many degrees they have. So what? She went to school. So what? What's bad about that? Right. You don't even want to say that, oh, she's scamming people because people actually donate or because she feel like that she does deserve to her work. So it's like, I don't understand how you can't sit here and... Mm, looks good, huh? Anyways, I'm really running late. But, back to Mona. So, you think using that walker is going to convince people that you have a disability? You may be disabled, but not physically. The least we need to be is concerned about other mental people's mental health issues when we have them of our own. So here are some things that covert narcissists do. Number one, they really love pretending and believing to be a victim when they're not a victim. And that's not all of them. I'm going to go through different manipulation tactics, and some of them use different manipulation tactics. So in this case, where they're the victim, the vulnerable narcissist may initially come off as a highly sensitive person. And that's because they seem hurt by everything and they're like, oh, I'm hurt by this noise, I'm hurt by this. And therefore, as a codependent person or empath or a highly sensitive person or a nice person, you may want to feel sorry for them because you're like, wow, this person is in pain, they're actually a victim. Now, there are some people who are targets of abuse and they are really victims and that's sad and sometimes they disclose that to others. However, the co covert narcissists really love using the victim status because when you pretend to be a victim, then you can get pity and sympathy from others. You can get a net humanitarian response from your family and friends and everybody because people will feel sorry for you. Then they'll give you emotional support and they're willing to do stuff for you and help you out. So all you need to do is just guilt trip them in order to use them and control them. And the crux of the difference is that covert narcissists may give off the appearance of having emotional empathy but deep down, they do not. They play the victim card. When the two of you fight, manipulators will always make you feel like it's your fault. They try to play the innocent victim who is badly hurt by your words and actions. Manipulators are experts at looking like helpless small creatures. They never believe they've done anything wrong. As a result, you find yourself apologizing all the time because they avoid taking responsibility for their own mistakes. They take advantage of your trusting and sensitive nature. Manipulators often target insecure, sensitive, and overly trusting individuals. If you're usually told by others that you're too nice or tend to wear your heart on your sleeve, take precaution and keep your vulnerability at bay. Manipulators are skillful at spotting people pleasers who often put their needs on hold to take care of others first. Initially, it might seem like they care about you when they give you attention, but later down the road, they'll start to use you for their own benefits. It's their subtle way of luring you into their trap, so watch out.
Do you think you're being manipulated? Did I get money? Did I really scam anybody out of money? I got a total of almost, and, and my tips for my work of coming on YouTube, because people don't give me money for my surgery, first of all. They don't give me money for my health. They give me tips for coming on here and entertaining you. So that's the first line. But even if you want to include my tips and say people feel bad for her, and that's why they tip her. So they so people have tipped me a total of like $323 and some odd tips, something like that. It's been less than $350. Yeah. I'm trying to act like it ain't shit, but I just want to tell the truth because these girls are jealous because they think that I'm getting hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And that's the gist of it. These girls are really jealous because they want the money that they think that I'm getting. And it's sad. So, I, so I'm not getting a lot of money. Sweet Ma, on average, gets more money than me back to back to back to back. And I'm not counting her money because I would never be jealous of another of my sister making money, earning money, or people loving her because you're supposed to, bitch, you better get it. So, but if the scam is my tips, then first of all, I suck. So, but second of all, what is a scam? Am I faking like I'm hurt? And the moderator of the year award goes to Marilyn. Marilyn, you there? Yes, I'm now, now for a long time, I, I kept you, I, I kept you, I protected you. And I did not want you to tell the truth, even though you were willing to come online and, and tell the truth. I, I didn't want you to do it because I didn't want you to be attacked. I didn't want people to be judgmental of you until they heard and until they heard whatever Sweet Ma was trying to say so that she can say that. And we know what we'd have to respond to. Now, I mentioned that Sweet Ma was taking money from her subscribers and a lot of money. Um, I, I just want you to tell the Bray Nation right now. We got like 84 people in. Go ahead, babe. She will call me. She will say she will, she was in a bad situation. She needed money. And I will always send her money. That's the truth. And I always supported her. So I don't understand where this is coming from. I really don't. Right, and you've tried to offer her other help with with a lawyer with for her baby. Yeah, I, because my aunt is a well-known lawyer. I told her, don't worry, I'll pay for it. Because she was very, um, you know, she was crying. And she called me, she was crying over the phone and telling me, explaining to me, that, you know, the situation. Uh -huh. So don't worry, I got out of her job and I went to my aunt and I waited for her for an hour and a half and she never showed up. She left you hanging. Because because Marilyn, sweetheart, she that day she was crying to you. She didn't really want help. She wanted money. She wanted money like she was already getting from you. And I've already seen the proof that she has taken money from Marilyn. Now, Marilyn is a strong supporter. Marilyn has probably donated to a lot of us. Marilyn has even donated to me. I won't sit up here and say that she hasn't. But what I refuse to do is use Marilyn and suck her dry and call her every five minutes and be like, and tell sad stories and be like, Marilyn, I need more money. I need more money. Marilyn, do I do that to you? No, never. Never. So, because because I'm not a scammer. In fact, I don't even like taking money from people. You have to know me to know that. Let's cut the crap, Mona. You know exactly what happened between Marilyn and I and yourself. Marilyn has been lying to you, giving you false information to make you have beefs with other people, including me. She gave you false information, told you that I made a live video where I was bashing you, for requesting Cash App, which makes absolutely no sense because nobody has ever seen that live. Not even myself. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be the one that made it. Now, what sense would it make for me to bash you for wanting Cash App donations when I made a video saying how much I loved you and Deb said the same? You make absolutely no sense. Next time you have a problem with somebody, you address them. Don't believe every fucking thing that you hear because clearly that's all that you're good at. You're constantly spreading rumors and making fucking stupid content out of the rumors that you hear without having any solid proof first. Well, as far as that text message that you received from all these other content creators, why haven't you exposed those? You had no problem exposing Tasha K for those alleged DMs that she sent you, right? You had no problem as an empath to make several videos 
talking about Tasha K faking her pregnancy and Tasha K about to fake a miscarriage. And you had solid proof from one of your, uh, I don't know, unreliable sources. <laughs> Mona, 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 you really fucked up. I never did anything to you, yet you're trying to sully my reputation. You're saying all these terrible things about me without having any solid proof other than that text message where I said I wasn't sure if you turned on me. You call me paranoid, right? I'm paranoid for this reason exactly. People like you that make me not trust anyone in this fucking world. You, my dear, are a piece of fucking shit. Okay, I just want to say that I really want, I, I really offer her my help. Just yeah. From the heart to help her son that's disabled. So I try to do everything that I could. I tell her, I told her I will provide you with any services that you need. Mm -hmm. And I did it from, and but she never showed up. Yeah. She never showed up, you know, at my And if, if she didn't want the help, all she had to do was say, I didn't want the help, I need the money. But she literally made you let you get off your job, go down there to wait for her, and you never show up. Because that was that wasn't the game. The game was she wanted the money. She just wanted the money. And when she saw that you wanted to give her real help instead of just giving her cash, she wasn't with that. And that's sad. You so disappointed her, Leah. Leah, I'm telling y'all, I've been silent and I've been trying to get them to talk about it publicly because they were saying so much behind the scenes. I wanted to talk about it in front. Let's talk about it on Front Street so everybody can know what's going on. The truth about Marilyn. I sent her proof that her moderator was talking crap about her. Her moderator said, I don't trust her. She's always asking for money. I send her money all the time. So I said, okay, you say I'm fake, but this is somebody that's moderating for you. And they're telling me this. And I'm over here talking about freaking um, Snake Tyler. And then she would switch the topic and be like, what about Cash App? What about Cash App? I'm like, what about Cash App? Like, what about her? Why do you want to talk about her? I'm talking about Snake Tyler. But she would change it to, let's talk about Cash App. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. She's like, what do you think about her? I don't trust her. But it's real funny that I show you proof that your moderator snaked you. Your moderator snaked you. And then you're like, oh my gosh, this is breaking my heart. I don't know who I can trust anymore. I sent her mad screenshots. And then she goes, please send me more. I need, I, I want it to really break my heart. So I want to know why you didn't get rid of that moderator. It's because she pays her way into your cult. That's why. That's why you didn't get rid of her. After I showed you that she backstabbed you. After I showed you the proof. You told me I deserve an apology, but you never apologized to me. I'm a scammer? You have been secretly siphoning your loyal supporters off screen. I got cash app receipts. Hundreds of dollars. Yeah, you may not mention your cash app in the video, but when you get on the phone with your supporters, it's all about your needs. Yeah, she's the one that's scamming. She's the one that's allegedly taking money from from her subscribers on the down low, not telling people so you can't count the funds. I never asked none of my subscribers for no money on, on the back end of YouTube or Cash App. Like, I never gave my Cash App until somebody requested it, like, a couple months ago. I didn't even know how to use that shit. I, I was using it to send other people money. So please don't believe that I asked anybody for money. I never did. Ever. Probably asked somebody to borrow $20. I have proof of that. But I said, lend. There's a difference between, can I have... Who scammed you? It's not that she scammed me. It's that, like, I was a follower. So oh. I had bought and stuff for her. But, um, you know, sweet mom. Oh, okay. I bought, I bought stuff for her son. Because not last night, the night before, I was in her live. Uh-huh. And I had said, oh, I wanted to, you know, buy stuff or whatever. Natasha. Don't you sound so familiar? I'll leave that for another day. But anyways, Natasha calls in 
And Mona's basically trying to say that I scammed her. How? I don't know. Natasha, cut the bullshit too. You know damn well you didn't buy anything for Amir. The desperation is so real to see that. You guys are trying to smear me that bad that you will call into a show to say that I scammed you but I didn't scam you because you never sent me the gifts that you so-called bought my son? <laughs> Did you say you bought my son gifts because you saw my live the previous night where I opened up gifts from a subscriber and you so-called got me a gift card? Fuck out of here and stay the fuck off my page. Um. So, um, I had bought her some, like, a bunch of stuff, and, um, I bought her a gift card and stuff, but when I went on her live last night, she proceeded to play a live that you had did. Uh-huh. Which, I, like, it really hurt my feelings, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, she played a live that, remember when I came in and said that I had checked on Rita? Sorry, y'all. I, I'm back. I went to check on Rita over there to her. Um, Natasha, what's rule number one? I have to respect the host. What's rule? We don't mention what other people got going on live, okay? We don't do that. But thank you, love. You know, I still love you, boo. But you can't be taken from my money. Now, send me a dollar on the cash app. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. You don't have to. Right. And you were like, oh, um, like, you know, like, joking around. You were like, oh, don't, you know, you got to respect the host or whatever. Right. She played that live. You? Then, but you know how she talks, though. You know she yeah, because I've talked to her on the phone. But that's a different, the okay, person, so look, the person on the phone, though, the person and how she sounds on the phone is different from how she sounds on the live. Like, I watched one, I was in one live, and that's probably the only one you'll see me commenting on. I think that's the longest I ever watched her live, and she definitely has a persona. So if you talk, you've talked to me outside of my lives. Do I sound the same on the phone as I do on my lives? Yeah. Yeah, you sound the normal. I'm the same person. Like you do now. Yeah. yeah. You doing too much, Mona. You really trying to make this girl call me a scammer, huh? <laughs> make sure i understand correctly so the day before you had you had purchased stuff from her or did you donate money to her no no no, no. okay the night before she did a live uh-huh and um i had said oh i want to buy i want to get stuff for you for your baby whatever uh-huh you know? and i said oh how are you doing whatever blah blah and then so yesterday i had gotten stuff okay did you, did you send it and to her already like, no, no, because I didn't have a P.O. box. Okay. So I had gotten stuff, and then and then last night I had heard her live. Mm hmm And then I was like, wow. And the next accuser <laughs> really, really blew my mind. Jackie, how could you? Hmm. You called me a scammer. You said I scammed you out of so much money you're embarrassed to even give the number. And it's all because I didn't DM you back. And before anybody says that I'm exposing my poor subscribers, how can I do this? Well, guess what? The same subscribers went onto a public platform to defame me with their names, their screen names, public, right? So I'm going to clear my name with the same screen names that they used to say that I was a scammer. And Jackie, Jackie, I'm a, I, if you can call in after this, I'm not sure because I know you in the UK, but if you can, that'll be great. Jackie say Sweet Ma scammed her big time. Mona, I just want to say something. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why would she do that because I, I helped her so much. You know, and I don't yeah. understand why she would pass back me like that. I do not understand because I helped her. Um, yeah. It's not that I want to say it. Yeah. You know, but I did help her a lot. Yeah, and, and help, and we're not going to say the dollar amount, but help is okay. You know, to a certain amount, it's okay. But the hypocrisy, and here's the problem, sweet ma, 
You're running around there trying to say that I'm scamming people while you're literally siphoning money out of your subscribers. I started to say members out of your subscribers behind the scenes. And the reason why it's allowed to go on for so long is because you don't do it publicly. You do it privately. So everybody don't know how much money you're actually getting. Nobody knows. They think you're just sitting up there innocent and sweet when the reality is that you're actually using people with sob stories to get money from people. And that's fucked up. And y'all say I'm a scammer. I hate scamming people. I don't like bullies. I don't like people that would take advantage of the, of the underdog for people that are struggling. I know my tribe. And my tribe is similar to her tribe. And for you to sit up there and take advantage of people because you put on this sweet persona, you act like you all nice were you really a devil in disguise to the women that said that i scammed them of so much money that they were embarrassed to give a dollar amount well jackie gave me 250 dollars in a matter of two months and marilyn sent me a total of 95 dollars bitches take your money back you know where to shove it fuck off fuck you delusions of grandeur how dare you say i'm the one with this issue if you ask me, the proof is in the pudding. Today's video is about the narcissist and their delusions of grandeur. Because they're delusional. They have unconventional thinking, fantastical thinking. They believe they are omnipotent, godlike. They might believe they're famous, more wealthier than they are, more important than they even could possibly imagine. Um, just better than you. For no other reason but because it's me. Okay? And this came from their childhood. If, if you realize what a narcissist is and how they feel inside, it's just total, total delusional. Okay? There's, there's nothing that supports anything they say. Nothing. Except their own delusions of grandeur. Be careful of those people that sound convincing even though they say something crazy. OK, because they, you know, to a certain degree, they believe it. They believe it. Um, look at uh, cult leaders. You know, they started somewhere, didn't they? They started with the delusion of grandeur, then supported by other people. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until they literally believe they're God. They're just convincing, too. They can be so convincing. We all know that we've all fallen for the for the fake dreams, the promises, the lies. You know, because they'll believe it. You have a whole bunch of girls jealous of one girl and they want to do everything they can to bring that girl down and make her look bad, which is me. But what they don't know is that they picked the right girl because I've been around for a long time. And you, my dear, picked the wrong one. Clearly, I have a large number that nobody was expecting, that nobody was expecting. And, and what it really is, is that they're jealous because they want, they believe in their heart that they somehow helped me get to this number. And I keep telling people the reason why I have a high number and, and low views is because I literally went to Facebook and all these groups that I'm in with millions of people in them that know me and love me. And I'm like, y'all come to YouTube and subscribe to me. And they like, YouTube has a community and they're not really coming back to view. So that's why I don't have high views like I should. But I am the one who worked at my own subscribers. These girls can't really get me more subscribers than what they got. If they could, then they would have those subscribers. You, if you don't wear a McDonald's uniform, you ain't gonna work for McDonald's. Welcome to McMona's. Can I take your order? Hi, can I please have a dollar McBrain, please, and a side of lies? Okay. Um, what size? Uh, extra large, please. Any sauce? Can I have the um, delusional sauce, please? All right, all right. Oh yeah, and the grandeur sauce as well. Dollar McBrain, um, a large side of lies, and delusional sauce, and the grandeur, right? And that's it, yeah, that's it. All right, it's gonna be $348.99. Check the next window. Thank you, cash app available. Thank you. Have a nice day. It's mandatory. 
If you when you moderate for me, your last name need to be Brain. If you don't change it, it's a sad situation, but ain't no love loss. Is she for real? Basically, you just gonna have to go, period. You have to make up your mind and your branding. If people don't wanna play along with your ideas of your of your corporation or whatever you building, then you cut them loose. You cut them loose. Ain't no love loss. I will find supporters. I will find people that will help to build my company with or without you. When you say you down and you support a motherfucker, show your loyalty. Show your loyalty. So, and to add on top of that, if anybody say that they rocking with me and they wanted to moderate with for me, but they can't change their underscore to underscore brain because it's my brand, because this is an actual business, then they need to go on and get the fuck on because they're not rocking for me as hard as they might think they're rocking for me because it's only a fucking name on YouTube. I didn't ask you to change it on your birth certificate. I didn't ask you to send me a vial of blood. I didn't ask for your firstborn child. I asked to change the name to fit the brand. When you go get a job at McDonald's and they had you a fucking uniform, you don't say that ain't my color. You take that motherfucking job and that uniform. This is a business. My rule is, is that I prefer my moderators to not be moderating for a lot of people because I can't be trying to come live all the time and I ain't got no moderators. She's been doing this. I first found out about this about a month ago and is when I got the first proof. And for months, almost our entire so-called friendship, she was doing it to me behind the scenes first. When she saw how my platform was growing, she started put throwing salt in the game, going to other people saying, I don't know if I can trust Mona. Can you? Like little stuff like that to make people alienate or shy away from me. And then it became so vocal that when certain people came to me, like Mona, I wasn't going to say nothing, but this messed up. Let me show you this. It was just really heartbreaking. But it's funny that on January 11th, when your moderator dropped had to, oh my God. when your moderator has said that I was talking shit about you, you think like you were cool with me. You never addressed it. You never came to me and said, is this true? Did you really make a video and delete it? Talking about all I do is ask for cash out. You never said nothing to me. You sat there and acted like we was cool. So you're the fake one if you really ask. January 10th, 2019, I donated $100 to Mona Simone via Super Chat. The following day, it seems like Marilyn started acting a little different. She decides to give Mona a call, and apparently they had a conversation about me. Mona must have been waiting for evidence that I was bad-mouthing her. And Marilyn's response is, oh my god, Mona, I put her and many emails in the trash, and I deleted them. I never expected that she was going to ask for it. It was when I was in your live that she sent it, and I got upset and told her, Who do you think you are talking to? But Mona, she did a live, and it was about you, but I see she took it down. I was checking now. Mona, do you want me to send you at least $25 now? I know it's not much. Okay. Does that seem normal? Keep in mind that Mona never confronted me about these accusations, lies, that Marilyn spread. And Marilyn started acting funny after I gave that $100 donation. Marilyn, are you jealous? <laughs> now, that makes sense now. You declined being my moderator because you didn't want Mona to know how fake and phony you were after you spread all those lies. Here, Mona tries to take credit for her moderator donating $5 a day to me for a couple of days. She threw in a 30 and a 20, somewhere in between, but whatevs. Mona tries to take credit for it. Damn sneaky ass bitch. Mona, how you wasn't talking to her when you said you sent her money every day? Let her tell it. Wow. She said, I don't think I, she said you sent her money every day. Let her tell it. I didn't, I, did I send her money? I honestly don't remember. I, I help people understand that even though people help me, I'm a charitable person. I help other people. Like, like if somebody is in a greater need than me and I vetted them and I feel like they need it more than me, I'll take, she said I did, look, I'll take what I have and I will share my last with people. I don't see nothing wrong with that. And I know y'all would support me in helping other people even though it was my donation or my tip. I 
you know, I'm a charitable person. What can I say? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to be charitable, but, you know, I, I knew, you, like, I'm biased. You know how I felt from the get-go. Yeah. But. She ain't deserve it. She, she just really, I, you know, um, she's just really showing her true colors. Where the fuck is my thing? Okay. She's just really showing her true colors. And I literally don't have to say anything and sit up and just let her talk about the whole situation. And anybody with a brain can see how stupid she's making herself look. And anybody with a functioning brain will see that you're a bold faced liar. Be petty and tell her. Be petty and tell her to send all your five dollars back. You mean Marilyn's five dollars? She was like sending me money every single day, and I thought that was kind of odd because, like, I didn't ask that. Too, so it doesn't like, sound like it's crazy. Oh. Okay, she was sending me like five dollars every single day. Like, you know, I think because I didn't really know nothing about Cash App. She's the first person that had me give my Cash App or whatever. So then I would get five dollars, and then the next day five dollars. I'm thinking it's a mistake. And the next day, five dollars. And then I was like, "Damn, yo, you don't have to do that." I think she sent a super chat to me once too. Like we help each other. Like people help each other. I think she sent a super chat. Now she can have whatever I sent her, but I, I think she sent a super chat to me too. Like I thought that's what we do: support each other. All right. Like I thought that's what we're supposed to do. What's up, Rita? What you getting into today, girl? Manipulation tactic. Pay attention. For $100, yeah, she probably did send me a super chat for $100. But I think that, hey, I'm going to be honest with you, sometimes, not all the time, but when a big, when a big, a larger YouTuber gets on and they send money via super chat, sometimes, sometimes they do it just to show out. They do it so other people can be like, oh, they're such a nice person. Look at them. Me, I send my money in private. And I'm not saying I'm better than anybody, but I send it privately. I don't send it online. I find out your cash app and I send it to you that way. Let's put our thinking caps on, guys. Did you guys catch that manipulation there? So she's basically saying that she rather give cash app and she usually gives cash app bull fucking shit instead of super chat because she doesn't want to show off. She'd rather do it in private. She's only doing that so that you guys can give her cash app instead of super chat. Just know that if brain is in your last name, you will most certainly be recognized. If you're a content creator, you don't have to change that page. You can actually just create a, a new login with your other Gmail address. Cause we know everybody got at least two Gmails. She talks about narcissism, but I think she's a narcissist. Oh yeah, we've been peeped that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why she's so obsessed with narcissism, because she is a narcissist. Yes. Matter of fact, I should have named this the Narcissist Slayer. Oh, yeah, I'm rechanging. Hold on, guys. I'm rechanging this, uh, the title of this, this, this video. The Narcissist Slayer. Because, like, she made a whole post even before. She was like, oh, my God, my father died. I need some time alone. Oh, I'm so sorry for her. Look, I told y'all, I called her when her father passed away to offer my condolences. You know, I'm old school, so you pick up the phone. I called her, and she giggled, and she was like, uh -huh, oh, it's okay. And I was so creeped out and disgusted. I was like, I'm not calling her no more. I'm not calling her no more about that, because that's creepy. Everybody grieves differently. I'm going to let her have her grief, but I'm not calling her. That was weird to hear. No, bitch. This is how it really went down. The night that my father passed away, nobody knew except for family and Deb. Deb came over and stayed with me until 6 in the morning because my father's body was still in the house. So my phone rings and it just happens to be Mona Simone. I didn't want to answer, but Deb tells me to answer. Anyways, so I explained to her what was going down. She gave her condolences. And I told her, I'm going to be all right. Next thing you know, she's like, by the way, I have VS, a.k.a. Susie's government information, her job number. And she basically wanted to give me all the tea so that I could go report VS. But honestly, 
I didn't even care what VS did to me. I was just more focused on what was going on at home and me losing my dad. I left that shit for the birds, aka Mona. Lies can be more entertaining than the truth, but the truth always trump the lies. In the video, she said something about she didn't cry when her father died or something. She didn't. I told y'all that was so creepy. She giggled. And, you know, throughout all that BS, I was going through a lot with the, um, I did not cry. Not once. Not once did I cry. When I tell you, this has been the toughest two weeks in my life. Just dealing with my dad and then, um, all the attacks. <laughs> it was like, I never cried. And you guys really think I'm a cry baby. I'm, I cry because it's just like i'm an emotional but y'all thought because i was quiet that i lost bitch bye and no tears <laughs> came out of my it's too short y'all ever since this started i have not cried i have not shed a tear the only time i cried was um when my father passed away come on man i don't cry that fucking much now y'all need to take that title off of my fucking name i have not cried since the what i can't even like i said at my dad's funeral and prior to that when i was being attacked and people were fucking sending me my address and all types of shit and threats i didn't cry i got stronger throughout this for someone who's a critical thinker with a huge brain why would you go ahead and spread perpetuate rumors without solid proof but you heard right I heard, and, and you guys, I don't know how true this is. I didn't feel like going back and looking for the video, but it, it seemed pretty, pretty true. Someone said that that Susie, and if I'm wrong, Susie, then, I, then I'll apologize in advance because this is a horrible thing to say somebody said if it isn't true. But somebody said that, that Susan said that if she goes to jail, before she goes to jail, that she would take her life and her children's life. It sounds believable, but I don't want to believe, I want to urge us not to believe anything just because it sounds believable. Because that's how people get us with lies. If that wasn't enough for you, here's hypocrisy at its finest. This bitch is so delusional. When you start telling the same thing that you're telling in the dark and you start saying that out loud in the light, only the truth is going to prevail. I know that with this medium of social media, it often feels like you're not really talking about anybody or no one's really affected. Like you always hear people say, it's just social media. But behind social media are real people and real reputation, reputations, people that have real careers and real families that could be really impacted, you know, in people's businesses and brands that folks aren't considering. You know, they think it's a joke when I get on here and I say that I will sue someone for defamation and, and slander and actually have begun that process. And they think it's a joke and they think they take it lightly, but it, it's it's a real deal, you guys. If anybody needs to be sued for defamation and slander, it needs to be you. Trust me, you don't want it. But if you throw a shade at me, but pretending to be cool with me, therein lies the issue. And that's what will get you blocked. That's what will get you blocked. You won't get blocked for listening, asking questions, trying to find out the truth. We are brains. We are critical thinkers. You're supposed to be able to get the truth. And her trying to come at me and attack me, she's attacking so many other people. And that's messed up. Well, not just that. No. Well, what pissed me off also was that she had said, she had called us bird brains and brainless, the people that follow you. But then she said, oh, well, I don't mean that. Like, if you want to follow me, I still got love for you. If you are a brain and you watch my channel, I don't have no problem with you. But if you're going to come on my channel and start talking crap, then you need to get the F off. Because you allowed your master to talk crap about me for the past couple of, what, three weeks? It's so weird. Like, leave me alone. Stop talking about me. At least gain some balls to say my name. Say my name. 
Say my name, say my name. But she she does realize that we have some of the same followers, right? So she's essentially attacking the people of, that are watching her. A lot of the same followers, though. A lot of the same followers. It's not just a little bit, a lot of them. Yeah. So when she, she kept on calling people that follow you brainless and stuff, but... A lot of them follow her, too. Right, right. But she has to know that my following is to following her. So I don't understand. Like, I, I just don't understand what she's doing and attacking her own followers. Like, that's crazy to me. Sweet my full of shit. Olivia the Oracle full of shit. Seven Stars is full of shit. And Susan is full of double shit. And any one of you dumb bitches following them hoes is dumber than a motherfucker, and I'm going to tell you why. So sit your ass down and you listen. How about that? Hey, Fee. Shout out to all the people that got blocked and banned from Mona Simone's YouTube channel for not kissing her ass and praising her. Hmm. Only when you ask her real questions, right? Let Linda ass stay. Yes, yes, Linda, I am. Uh, don't block her. Please don't block Miss Linda. Let this bitch stay. Let the bitch stay. First of all, Miss Linda J, I'm going to get to the interview when I want to fucking get to the interview, okay? Look below this video. There's a name of the person that this video belongs to. Tell me what fucking name it says. I'll wait. Go ahead. I don't feel like, wait, never mind. I bet you any amount of thing that it don't say Linda J. So, Linda J, the next time you try to tell somebody to rush in a motherfucking video, you either have Linda J at the bottom of that motherfucker, or you can cash out dollar sign Mona Simone and encourage me to get the fuck on, or I'll tell my fucking story like I want to tell my fucking story. Because you ain't live my life, bitch. Now, I don't know where the fuck y'all hoes from. But I'm from the motherfucking dirty south, bitch. And where I come from, we don't play games like this. So, Linda J, while you fucking around, right now I'm getting screenshots because my moderators are on your page, finding out your IP address, finding out your fucking Facebook page to find out who the fuck your fuck ass is, bitch. Now get the fuck off my motherfucking page. Because I don't dox people's information. But if you harass me on this internet, I'll play this paper game with your ass and get you a nice paper charge, bitch. How about it? Try it again. The motherfucking dirty south. Okay, so where was I? But when motherfuckers are sitting around bullying me online and affecting my motherfucking brand, I have every right to say something. You ain't gonna shut me up, bitch. A lot of people run around and they just jump from chat to chat and channel to channel. You ain't got no fucking idea what the fuck is going on in real fucking life, bitch. Log out sometimes. Do that. Check your mailbox. Take a walk around a motherfucking block sometimes, bitch. And I'm not trying to play the victim. Look, I'm, I'm really not trying to play a victim or get any sympathy. I, I really don't care for sympathy. What I really care for is facts and truth. How you go from loving and supporting a person one day to completely dragging them under the bus the next with no evidence, no proof, no reason. And you could sit up there and judge me for sharing a screenshot that someone sent to me, no less. I didn't make up these reasons about TK. I didn't make up this stuff about TK's husband. I shared the screenshot of the text messages that she or someone on her side of the computer sent me. Well, hold on, let me wet my throat. Critical thinking is a disciplined thinking that is clear, rational, open-minded, and informed by evidence. So, and, and in removing that, when, when we're thinking critically, we're assessing the evidence, we're analyzing things, and I pulled up this, this diagram for you guys that may help. She did a three-hour live with no receipts. A three-hour live, and all she did was make a mockery of me smoking cigarettes, being in pain, having a disability, and having six degrees. 
And all she did was, and, and you guys don't even realize, this woman claims to be upset or, or what set her off was the fact that I missed, uh, my phone didn't get a text message that she sent. So she's mad. And months ago, behind my back, unbeknownst to me because i'm only finding out a few weeks ago but this has been going on for months she's been um rallying behind and supporting the pages of the people that you see ripping me to shreds well she's been commenting on those pages supporting those pages sharing those pages people who talk poorly about my family and and drag me through the mud she's been supporting for months i didn't even know She's been talking behind my back for months. I didn't even know. I had no idea. It just dawned on me that you're talking about lovable Yan. You're mad because I'm subscribed to her? You're mad because I like her? Well, guess what? I've been subscribed to her and I enjoy her content. You're just mad because she read you for filth and it was true all along. I never commented under any of her videos that were pertaining to you, nor did I like them. So, fuck out of here with that bullshit. Go subscribe to Lovable Yan and April Walker. That's right, I'm Freddie's daughter. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. I'm Mona's dad. Yeah, that's right. I see you later, sugar. All right. It's Freddie's daughter. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I'm Freddie's daughter. Uh. Yeah, but they be saying I'm high as hell. I just did a video earlier. I ain't gonna take it down. But I'm gonna go back behind the block, back screens, because they always keep talking about I'm high. And I ain't even high. Ash cat. Do dollar cash at Boba Samo. Y'all, I'm sorry. Shit. Tired, y'all. So tired. But Judge Joe Brown, look, we're going to talk about that later. Yeah. But Dollar Ash Cat Motor Simone, y'all. Dollar Ash Cat Motor Simone. Freddie's daughter. Yes, Freddie's daughter. Let me wet my throat. want to sit there and make a video calling me a narc because I support somebody that doesn't like you. Bitch, you supported people that didn't like me or Narob. Did we have a problem with you? We respected you. I re There's people that follow me that like people that hate me. But I don't treat them no different. When she goes on this three-hour live, when she had the opportunity to have an intelligent conversation and explain to you justification of why she's attacking me, she shows nothing. I'm coming for you because you came for me. I let you rock. I let you talk all this crap. I let you call me psychopath. I let you say that I needed help. I let you say that I was a narcissist. But once you mention my daddy and saying that I'm evil. No receipts, no nothing. Just for hours, this empath. This empath sits there and makes fun of a person with a disability. And makes fun of my disability. And mocks my surgeries. Mona, Mona, Mona. You play victim so bad. <laughs> Is this what you call making fun of your disability? I deal with my man and so did my mother. And it's like, you're not going to be online all day, every day. Like, there's just going to be some time. You're like, fuck you. I'd rather sleep. I'd rather sleep. I'd rather sleep. You need to go sit in a corner and heal. Okay? Sit in a corner and heal. Or your wife needs to go to work or something. Because y'all always together. Like, it don't make no sense. Well, hold on. Let me wet my throat. Gaslighting is a manipulative technique that makes you feel like you can't rely on your own memory anymore. When someone gaslights you, they will pretend like they didn't say something that hurt you in the past. They will often twist the truth and reinvent it, which makes you question your sanity. Gaslighting isn't just manipulative, it's a form of serious abuse that is dangerous. Now here's an example of gaslighting. You know I gotta pull out the bubbles for this one. I'm 
just really shocked that of all people, I've never done anything wrong to this girl. I've never done anything evil to this girl. She didn't give you one legitimate reason to be upset with me, did she? In six hours of video, tell me, you guys, what was the reason? Why was she upset with me? Do you remember? Six hours of video. What was the reason why she was mad? She didn't even know why she was mad. She don't know. She did all that slandering me, you know, making herself not look like an empath. Really, bitch? Really? She couldn't give you anything. She couldn't tell you anything bad that I did to her. Nothing. But she claims to have all these receipts. But in six hours, she didn't give you not a one. Since your dumbass needed a reminder, here you go. I was forced to do this. When I say forced, I, I was being quiet for the longest. This person just wants my attention so desperately that she just keeps talking about me. This woman that calls me a sociopath and a narcissist keeps ticking at me to the point where I have to address her today. I was being so respectful towards this person because I didn't want to talk about her but she pushed me the reason why I decided to come out with this video is because this bitch said that I was happy that my father died my moderator that you think switched out on you did not she was my friend before all of this before YouTube she was my friend on Facebook and she was a brain, and she was a loyal follower. This woman was constantly wanting to be giving me money to the point where I told her, no, I'm good. Mind you, I didn't pay attention that was her moderator. I thought she was just my friend. I didn't know. It started dawning on me that every time Shorty hits me up, she's always telling me, somebody's talking about you. They said this about you. They said that, that about you. I asked her to, to, to moderate for me because I trusted her. And she says to me, oh, sorry, I... I, I I, I won't be able to moderate for you because I just got more hours at work. I'm going to be busy. Bitch, I see you want everybody's lives moderating um, at all hours of the night. As a real empath, you feel, you feel things. When people start turning on you, you can feel it. I was like quiet about it, but then I was like, yo, let me confront her. And she's like, I'm so insulted, sweet ma, that you would think that about me. I, I really love you and I care about you in a mirror. I noticed that she would be talking to me and be like, I, I could send you some money. And I'm like, it's okay. You don't yeah. have to. You don't have to send me money to be my friend. And then one time she goes, you could ask me for whatever amount you want. Like, like yeah. you could ask me for $100, $200, even $500. You could ask me for whatever. I stand by it. I think she's a sociopath. I think she's pretending. I think she's making a mockery of all of us. I mean that. Either I'll be right back. You don't back. want these ladies to like get paid, or you just yeah. That's the last thing. Well, let me say this, kids, before I you want to take me a minute. I gotta go turn on the air. It's gonna take me a minute to get back with this Walker. But listen. That's the funny thing. They say that I'm scamming because I accept Cash App. Meanwhile, she gets on video. She used to get on video all the time with her baby for hours. See now, Mona? You really asking for it by bringing up a mirror. You're a fucking liar if you say that I used to go on live with my son all the time. That's a fucking bold-faced lie. I went live with him one time. And I was pissed off because somebody talked about a special needs child. And that live was three hours and 15 fucking minutes, ho. It, it, are we to say that she's using her baby as sympathy to get money donated to her? Is that the equivalent of what she's trying to say that I'm doing? Well, I'll be back. I will say this about that. And I don't care who likes it or not, but with Tyson Yeah. I'm not a Tasha K fan, I like Tasha K, but Tasha 
Tasha K. Never lied when she said that. Yeah, we had a hard time with that because we even, you know, sometimes you just got to admit the truth. And I was kind of like, damn, I don't like the fact that Tasha K. said it because it wasn't her place to say it. Let me get this straight. So it wasn't Tasha K.'s place to say that, but it's yours? <laughs> but at the same time, she should just, uh, uh, I don't even want to, I don't even want to halfway agree with Tasha K at all. No, I don't want to do it. Yeah, because like she, like when Tasha did that, everybody uh, ended up sending her more money and felt bad for her. Yeah. What the fuck is this bitch talking about? And like, people was genuine about it. Right, and now Jesse. all of a sudden it's like, you have no remorse. All of a sudden, you have all this money. You get paid. You don't need no help. But you was just crying not too long ago in your car, saying that I'm about to lose my job and cover my job. I don't have any money for rent. These bird brain bitches are lying. I never made a live where I cried about rent or losing my job. The fuck? But now, all of a sudden, you want to go on camera Yeah, I didn't know. And Nami tried to tell me. Nami was like, something right about that girl. She ain't as sweet as she pretending to be. I realized that this girl is playing all of us. Those messages that I read with her telling people, I felt like when she went and told people that she couldn't trust me, it wasn't that she really couldn't trust me. She was trying to slow down my shine. She was trying to get people not to like me. That's what she was trying to do. She was trying to get people on her side. Even her friend Deb that sits next to her. Marilyn, right? You told me she said a lot of bad shit about that girl. But oh, you she, told me that, she told me that Deb wasn't her friend. She told me that she wasn't really her friend. Because she left her. Um, one day she went. She was coming um, out of work. And she called Deb to pick her up. And she was sprinting outside waiting for Deb for hours and hours. So she literally had to walk home for like three hours. And then after that, Deb called her and asked her where she was. And she was already almost getting home. And she told her, no, I'm already home. Hey, Jay. You know, I don't need you anymore. She but you know what? Shit about that. You know she what? That ain't that, that don't even make Deb look bad. Sweet. Me and her were well, I wasn't talking to her for a long time. For no reason. What you mean for no reason? What was the reason? I wasn't talking to her because I didn't want to talk to her. I felt like she did me dirty. So I How did I do you dirty? I stopped talking to you. Let, let's clear this up. How did I do you dirty? Tell me. She never wants to tell me why. Literally, she claims that she called me that day and I didn't pick up my phone. First of all, it was not just that incident. It was many of many of many. Many of many of many like, of many incidents. I don't want to talk about it. No, say it. You no. need to say it. She won't tell. How are you gonna be mad at somebody if you don't tell somebody what you're mad about? Because I There's told you enough. enough. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. If you don't tell me, how am I supposed to? I know? told. You. I'm not a mind reader. First of all, I told you. Tell her guys to tell me because I am not a mind reader, so I don't know. You can't tell somebody to change something if they don't know what they're doing wrong. If you don't tell me what it is that you don't like if I did something, how am I supposed to know? I'm not a mind reader. Okay. I told you several times what you did that I didn't like. Like? Like, for instance, the time where I caught frostbite for three freaking weeks. She <laughs> told you okay. frostbite. I did. Okay. What happened with me and her? I can't wait for you to tell this story. So Whatever. I my side. Go ahead. Go ahead. I am going to tell the Go story. Ahead. Gosh. Hurry up. Anyway, <laughs> I can't wait for you to tell it. My mother was going to let me use her car. So she said, come to my job and take my car. Deb says, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up and drop you to your mom's job. I said, okay, sure. Because she was going to walk. Make that clear. She was going to I walk was... in the snow and it was brick as fuck. And I got frostbite okay. for like three weeks, yo. Who told you to walk? To whatever. Who told you to walk? I walk because I don't like people playing me. I'm stubborn. I'm a fucking Capricorn. Oh my God. Okay? 
She told me 15 minutes. 15 minutes turned out to 15 hours. It I didn't turn out to 15 hours. I it was an hour. And I walked and I got it was an hour. Tell her how you really feel, Mona. Exhibit A. I did offer a swimmer that if she needed help, that she, you know, I couldn't help her because, you know, yeah. she was, you know, her son, you know, she was crying and everything. I felt bad, mm -hmm. you know, because of the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, now, how many times, how often would she call you and, and, and cry and ask you for money? She would call, she would call me like, a, like, you know, like every other, every two days. For money? I thought it was like every other week. We talk, we also would talk a lot. Okay. We also would talk. Okay, I was going to say. She almost got to ask me her I just want her a lot. Yeah, and I, that, I just think, I felt like she was taking advantage of you, and that's not cool. I Like I told you, when you was like, Mona, if you need anything, let me know. I was like, Marilyn, I would never want to just sit up here and take money from you. Yes. I'm not like that. So, regardless of what people say publicly, I'm still the person that I am behind the scenes. A scammer, I am not. I'm not even the type to really accept money from people. I know. So. I know. No, but I just want to make that clear that I did offer myself. I offer the help, you know, too. Right? Yeah, you did. You know, because you did. Was, and there's nothing wrong with money, that. You know, like, you know, she didn't have money. Hey, Rita. And, you know, she was going through a tough situation. Yeah, but that was the game, though. Even though you did offer money, there's nothing wrong with that. There's even nothing wrong with her accepting the money. But the problem is, is that she took advantage of that. She thought she was running a game. She was the one crying on the phone and you running a game for you to give her money, to, for you to give her all of this money. All right, guys, I got to go. Should I wear this one or this one? Ooh. Yes. This is it. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm headed out to my event. Thanks for staying throughout this entire video. I had to redeem myself. And before I go, I would like to let you know that sometimes all you have to do is hand them the shovel and let them bury themselves. I'm not even the type to really accept money from people. No. Thanks for the love. I appreciate you. Dollar sign on a Simone on the Cash App. Offer the Cash App. Dollar sign on a Simone on the Cash App. Dollar sign on a Simone on the Cash App. Dollar sign on a Simone on the Cash App. Now send me a dollar on the cash app. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. You don't have to. In fact, I don't even like taking money from people. You have to know me to know that. It, it's only an issue. Oh, dollar sign, Mona Simone on a cash app, by the way. I almost forgot. Really, bitch? Really? If you'd like to join and become a member of the Brain Nation and or any content creator who has over 100,000 subscribers... Shout out to those content creators working hard out here in these YouTube streets. You can join as a member. Congratulations to my sister, Linus Ajuda. You guys can all join as a member on her page. Well, what do you know? She has less than 5,000 subscribers. What do you got to say now, Miss Mona? Here's another fun fact for you guys. If you are all wondering whether Miss Mona Simone really has 200k subscribers, this right here will prove her wrong. Hmm. Pay attention, guys. This right here is Miss Mona Simone's page. It shows how many views she's had on her channel. 49,235 to be exact. Next is Linus Ajuda, who started making videos around the same time as Miss Mona Simone. I don't know, the numbers aren't adding up. I figured we'd kick it up a notch and go to someone who recently started their new page, Seven Stars, January 22nd, 2019. Already at 70K views? But hey guys, use your own brain. I gave you the numbers, you do the math. Thanks for sticking around this long, guys. The remainder of this video will be just random clips of recent videos that Mona Simone has made after I made my live video. She's just been going on and on and on for like 
literally seven days straight making videos talking about me. This is not normal, guys. Not normal. A year from now, you're going to regret like hell that you chose to make a name for yourself by lying on me. You launched this whole campaign where you just want to destroy my whole brand for what? With all these lies? The sweet mom that I know and the sweet mom that I read from those text messages, I'm still having a hard time making that the same person. Like, it seems like a different person was talking about me. I had to send her the screenshots that people sent me to make sure that it was her. And she verified that that was her. And then she tried to excuse it. So I'm like, I just had a hard time. Like, it's not, it's like whoever she gave me and whatever she showed me, she clearly had has a different side and I didn't see that I didn't see that these women who have accused me of scamming something I've never done in my entire life I'm offended and appalled like how dare you is it because I'm black you had sweet ma who made a video for six hours long and she's mad at me pray tell brains why why is sweet ma mad at me anybody know Brains? Anybody? Why on earth is Sweet Ma upset with Mona Simone? What has Mona Simone done? Well, I'll tell you what Mona Simone has done. Absolutely nothing. And, and Sweet Ma is foolish. She is a narcissist. And I believe she's a sociopath. I didn't return her text. So she created a video defaming me, illegally defaming me and my character, slandering me and my brand, everything that I stand for. I've lost 393 subscribers because of it. The time and everything correlates because I missed her fucking text message. And I'm getting these text messages Telling it this showing that she's like talking behind my back and she's saying all these horrible things behind my back that I can't be trusted. She don't know if she could trust me. I hurt her the worst. I did these horrible things to her. So brains, anybody tell me why sweet mom mad at me. Hashtag why sweet mom mad at me. He gave y'all ass a six hour comedic fucking relief trying to destroy my brand just so she can come out with another documentary to tell y'all how evil subscribers are and how they donate money to you to try to get in your mind and be your friend and she thinks because these subscribers are now following me that I somehow turned on her y'all there it is because I missed a fucking text message that I didn't even get And y'all run around behind these women. Oh, we feel so bad for you. We're so, we're so, we support you. What the hell are you supporting? Tears and a cash app. That's what the fuck this video should have been called if I wanted to be real petty. You better believe that when I'm done healing, every last one of you funny face bitches that got these motherfucking Mona Simone and a cash app and lie talking about I'm lying on my education bitch and all that shit and I'm I'm an opioid addict and all these lies you making up let me see and one of them videos because when I bring y'all ass down you coming all the way down I don't give a fuck if you've had your channel for 10 years 15 years I wouldn't give a fuck bitch because you've been sitting in the same spot and ain't blow up don't be jealous of me. Sweet Ma, you too. Remove them motherfucking videos. Olivia, remove them motherfucking videos. And anybody else lying on me. Because just as sure as I'm Freddie's eldest daughter, all of y'all bitches going down. And that's a promise. We gotta, we gotta fuck their heads up. Hopefully they can't hear us behind the bubbles. <laughs> oh God, you think they could hear us?